always wanted to give something back to the people who helped me and stood by my side through many very difficult times. So when I started running, one of my biggest motivations was to make people proud of me. In 2000, our son Quinn was born and doctors told us that something was wrong with him, but they didn't know what it was. It wasn't until some time later that he was diagnosed with an extremely rare genetic syndrome called Rubenstein-Tabe syndrome with an occurrence of like one in 300,000. Even though we finally had a diagnosis, I was still really concerned because as time passed, it became clear that he would never walk or talk and would always be fully dependent. And he became my full-time job. But Quinn is a true blessing. He's the happiest person I've ever known. And through him, we have learned humility and the true meaning of absolute love. With my first marathon behind me in 2012, it was finally time to start training for my first ultra, the Highland Sky 40, in 2013. Those circumstances at the time dictated a lot of my training be done on the treadmill. As often as possible, you would find me out running 20 to 40 miles on the trails, oftentimes with my daughter biking alongside me. By the time I was 16, I had left home, had my first child, Mallory, and I had become a single mother. It was a very rough time in my life. Eventually, I met my husband, Glenn, and he grounded me. He's always believed in me, inspired me, motivated me. And I can't even count how many times he saved me from myself. He's my rock. The Highland Sky 40 mile trail run is a point to point course through the Monongahelia National Forest and Canaan Valley area and boasts some of the most breathtaking scenery in West Virginia. It has a total elevation gain of over 5,400 feet and crosses the highest plateau east of the Mississippi called the Dolly Sods Wilderness. Highland Sky was my first stepping stone to running 100 miles. I went into it to have fun and to learn as much as I could about running ultras. When I got to the finish line, I just knew this was what I wanted to do. After Highland Sky, I began training for the West Virginia Trilogy 50 mile and I went into it with a goal of breaking 12 hours. I wasn't even to the halfway point yet when I had broken every rule possible. It's the only race to date that I was almost absolutely certain that I would quit. When I got to the halfway point, I was shocked to learn that I was in place for second female and I knew I couldn't quit. On the last big climb. I 
feminist, just under 12 hours, second female, and I was elated, but I was completely physically and mentally exhausted. I had used all the difficult things from my past to make it that last 25 miles. No matter how bad it gets, you just have to hang on to that last tiny thread of willpower. While I was training for the Trilogy 50, I decided that each ultra that I ran would be dedicated to someone who had been pivotal in my life. And so my first dedication was for my dad.